ugly baby too. Ugly baby too. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Anyway, it's Nate from the 8020 Drummer, and this week I've got a super quick one for you. I just want to take you through something that I've been running down and thinking about in preparation for this new practice course that I'm releasing next month that I'll tell you a little bit more about later. This is a drill, the idea of which I got from a martial arts coach which has allowed me to essentially cut my practice time by like two thirds. And I'll explain to you more about what I mean, but let's actually get into the meat and potatoes of this. So the inspiration comes from a coach of mine at the Henzo Gracie Academy in Brooklyn named Professor Gary. And every week for a minute until I got injured, I would have a judo private with Professor Gary and a few friends. And one thing, Professor Gary would always say at the end of a judo lesson, something we always dreaded hearing was, you guys are doing live rounds. That's when it was time to like start sweating, bite down on your mouthpiece and, and pray to God that you emerged unscathed. But that same concept applied to drums is super powerful. So let's talk for just a minute about what live rounds mean with respect to martial arts. So in boxing or MMA, a round is obviously, in boxing it's what, three minutes, in MMA it's five minutes. So it's a super short, super high intensity round where you're extremely focused on what you're trying to do. And it's so powerful in drums because rather than just having a limitless meandering time limit where you can kind of lose focus. If you've only got three minutes to do something, then you're going to drill down and you're going to focus. So the drill is three minutes of an improv exercise at a tempo, and then after those three minutes you have to change. So we're going to explore ways you can change later on in the lesson, but let me just first demonstrate the things that I've been doing with this exercise. So. I've been practicing improv with the metronome and I've been practicing sex tuplets. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 80 beats a minute and I recommend you use it on down beats, but I'm going to do a little wrinkle. I'm going to do it in five and I'm going to do it on up beats. So just for instance, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's what that's going to sound like. And I'm going to play sex tuplets with it. But instead of three minutes, I'm just going to do it for a few seconds for you guys. So here goes. Okay, so say three minutes has elapsed. No asking questions, no overthinking it. Three minutes go by, we bump it up 10 points to 90 beats a minute. So let's crank on that for a hot minute. Three more minutes elapse, we bump it up to 100, et cetera, et cetera. So from say 75 beats a minute to like 100 beats a minute, I'm working on sextuplets. But then when it gets above 100, I'm working on sixteenths. So as the tempo increases, we're, in, we're decreasing the rate a little bit. So let's go to 100. I'm going to play sixteenths and I'm also going to add a wrinkle. And again, this is just an example of what I'm doing later on. I'll show you guys exactly what you can do to adapt this for yourselves. So at 100 beats a minute, I'm going to play constant eighths on the hats and I'm going to improvise with sixteenths. So here goes.
Okay, so that's 100 beats a minute. Three minutes a lap, I go. Three minutes a lap, I go. 110, 120, 130. We're gonna go ahead and skip over some of that and just show you guys 130 right now. So this is 130 beats a minute. This is sixteenths with improv, and this is the only rule is I need to do constant eights on the hats. That needs to continue. So here we go. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about how you could take this exercise and apply it. So, the drill is three minutes, three minute sprints, three minute live rounds with the metronome. And at the end of three minutes, I was changing the tempo. But, you know, between the first and second half of it, I also changed the exercise. So, let's talk about things you can change between the three minutes. So, first and foremost is the tempo. But second, you can change the texture. So what do I mean by that? In some of my other improv videos, I talk about just allow yourself to play on one drum, allow yourself to play on two drums, drums plus cymbals, no rim shots, etc. So say that we're playing, we're practicing sextuplets at quarter note equals 90, and maybe for the first three minutes, you're only gonna allow yourself to play snare drum, no rim shots, hats, and kick drum. So like four, five. And I cheated, I played a rim shot there. <laughs> but okay, so three minutes elapse, and then the next three minutes, you let yourself play rim shots. So four, five. Three more minutes elapse, you allow yourself to add in the floor tom. Four, five. So, so on and so forth. So that's adjusting the rhythmic texture. With the second part of the exercise where I was playing the hats on constant eights, one thing that I'll do with that is for the first half, the first three minutes, I'll keep the hats on constant eights. And then after that, when the timer clicks three minutes, I'll click renew, and then I'll allow myself to play any texture. I won't require myself to keep the hats. Um, finally, Another thing we can do is rhythmic context. You can certainly switch from like eights to triplets, triplets to sixteenths, sixteenths to sextuplets, but you can also do is recontextualize. So like last week's lesson about the difference between subdivided triplets and sextuplets. So remember, subdivided triplets are just, if you're thinking like four, two, three, five, two, three. And sextuplets are if you're thinking like four, five. Right, it's just a double time versus a half time thing, but there's a, there's a big difference in, the ter in terms of the way your brain thinks about that. So you could do three minutes th playing subdivided triplets at like the slower tempo. So four, five. And then the next three minutes you could play that double time again. So four, five. Right, so that's another thing you can do. So guys, I recommend you take this concept and just play around with it. And I guarantee that the, the shortness and the focus within that three minute sprint, that three minute live round, is going to bring like a new vitality to your practice. And this is all stuff I'm considering as I design this new practice course, which if you're watching this video before January 20, 2019 is debuting in January 2019, essentially you guys told me that you had a few main problems with practice and among them was you feel stuck in a rut and you feel like you're being really technocratic in the practice room but then you're not able to be creative on the gig, you know, 
go figure. So what we just did was an exercise is, was an exercise that forced you to improvise, but forced you to improvise in a in a now or never kind of way. Like the red light is on, the three minutes are ticking. So it's a great rehearsal for your your mind for things like recording sessions, gigs, et cetera, et cetera. It's just among the many things that'll be in this new course. Uh, but if you're watching this now and you're interested in studying with me in my sort of current uh, offer, then I recommend my existing course, the 8020 coaching course, which is like three to six months of studying with me, all for around the price of just one or two lessons. We don't open that all the time. It's only open about once a quarter to new students. But if you want to get on the wait list for that and also get a completely free gateway drug to it, I recommend you click on the link below and download my three free videos. So the three videos that will make your playing better in the next three weeks than it's gotten in the last six months. I know once you check those out, you'll come back to me for all your drum instructional needs. Dudes, it's been real. Really appreciate you guys for watching. If you love the channel, please click subscribe. I'll be back very soon with another lesson of the week. Check you.